Well, hello and welcome to the all new channel 2012. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at installing Windows 7 on the Motion Computing MC C5 tablet. For the Windows 7 installation, you will need to set up the docking station, a USB mouse, as well as some USB media with uh, Windows 7 installation on it. In this case, I used the Windows software Rufus to create uh, a bootable USB drive out of a Windows 7 ISO. If you're not familiar with how to do this, there are uh, some guides online uh, and even on YouTube that describe how to do this. I may have one uh, linked to in the video description. So let's get started. Now when the BIOS splash screen appears you will tap the screen with the stylus. After you tap the screen you'll see this menu come up and you will want to select uh, with the stylus select boot device. That'll bring up this other window here. This one is the built-in hard drive. This is for network booting and this third one down here, the one that says 6i13 CBM flash disk, that is our USB drive. So we're going to click that and then we'll press OK. And when it says press any key to boot from USB, we'll press one of the... I'll just, I just pressed enter on the thing there. You'll see some activity on the light there and then it'll say Windows is loading files. At this stage you can see we do have a mouse pointer but it isn't responsive to the stylus. That's what the USB mouse is for. And from here, you'll be able to run through the setup wizard as normal, uh, simply using the mouse. As you can see here, we have uh, two partitions on the iPod hard drive that these units have inside of them. This is the recovery partition, which I'll leave on there in case I ever want to uh, take it back to its stock configuration with XP. And then this is the main OS partition. We'll create a new partition that takes up the whole drive. And at this point, we're ready to proceed. Alright, we're just short of 15 minutes into the uh, installation process and uh, it is now going to restart the computer. As long as our uh, hard drive is still our first boot item, no action needs to be taken uh, once it reboots. You can just let it go. A lot of people when they're installing like to change the boot order uh, in the BIOS settings, but when you do this, then that would mean that you would have to go back and change it right after the uh, the first reboot. By just temporarily choosing the USB drive this way, we uh, don't have to worry about that. Now it's booting from the hard drive, but it's going to continue the installation off of the USB stick.
and we're back here just over 20 minutes into the installation and the driver for the uh, stylus is now loaded we also had an on-screen keyboard so I'm gonna go ahead and choose a username and computer name real quick all right now we're all done with that Beside this error here that popped up uh, after I got to the desktop, it ended up being a pretty typical installation of Windows 7. As you can see here in the video, it took around 35 minutes, uh, but the bulk of the time uh, spent in setting this up uh, is mainly in the Windows updates since the disk that I have uh, is pretty old. Uh, so I recommend what's called slip streaming uh, updates and maybe even some drivers, uh, and there's some guides on YouTube. I can show you how to do that. That's for another video. As for drivers, while most of them installed with Windows, I did have to grab a few of them from the Motion Computing website. and uh, They have uh, drivers for everything there, uh, for Windows XP, Vista 7, and presumably 8 as well. If you have any comments regarding today's video, please feel free to leave those in the comments section. Although if you have any questions uh, that you want me personally to answer, I may have to recommend that you leave me a personal message instead of a comment, as I don't always get notifications anymore uh, in my inbox from the comments because of YouTube's new screwed up comment system. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to stay tuned to the all-new Channel 2012 for the latest in reviews, guides, food, computers, around the house, and other high-quality, high-definition uploads. Thanks for watching.